We had a beautiful start to our Saturday, and then as the day heated up, that's when things became a little bit dicey in our weather department. Meteorologist Bob tried. He has been keeping an eye on things for us. And Bob, it seems like tomorrow we may have another day of possible severe weather for us. You're right, Shelly. You know, it all, it's all depends on the timing of that front. If that front comes in earlier, before the atmosphere has a chance to destabilize, we're in good shape. The chances for severe are lower. But if that front comes in later in the day and allows that atmosphere to percolate well that's a different story so we'll have to certainly watch it some of the models are trending earlier that's a good thing so on sunday we're looking at that chance for thunderstorms by the middle of the week more showers and then by the end of the week we're looking at chilly weather could see frost in the freeze maybe by Friday morning. It's possible. High temperatures for today 80 in Greenville, 82 in Greenwood, 81 in Newberry, 83 in Tacoa. So that warm front doing its thing as it was moving to the north with 74 into Asheville. Right now, looking at I 85, the interchange of 385, looking at a lot of clouds. We have some of those showers rolling through and some of those thunderstorms too. Nothing severe. 63 in Greenville right now, 67 in Abbeville. Still 70 in Hartwell, 58 in Nashville. These temperatures only fall maybe another couple degrees, and that's about it. Now, the threat for severe weather tonight, marginal across North Carolina. A little sliver of far western North Carolina under a slight risk, but I think for many of us, we're in pretty good shape. Then we go into Sunday, a different story. With that front moving in, we do have a chance of scattered severe storms. That means all modes of severe weather are possible. Large hail, gusty winds, and the possibility of some tornadoes. Fox Radar 3D right now showing those showers and a few thunderstorms moving on through. You can see some storms now through Lawrence County into Union County and a few more of those into Greenville on into Oconee County and more into Western North Carolina. Brief heavy rain, just a few showers with these uh, storms as they move on through. Here's a bigger view. Warm front is lifting off to the north right now, taking a lot of the energy with it. Fox Radar 3 a little closer showing the rain around Greenville. Also some of those showers now near Lawrence back into Union. So you get into those pockets of heavier rain and a little bit of lightning as we go through the evening hours. Warm front lifting to the north. Still a lot of storms back through Tennessee right now and points west with the cold front. We're seeing severe thunderstorms through Tennessee. Tornado warnings. A lot of them through areas of Mississippi back into Arkansas with the cold front. So that cold front is very, very strong and that will be heading our way, increasing our risk for severe weather as we go through time. So here's Futurecast for tonight, looking at those hit and miss showers. And then as we go into your Sunday, once again, the timing is everything. Those storms rolling through the mountains, western North Carolina early in the morning, and then I-85 around noon, then hopefully getting out of our area by about 2 or 3 p.m. And then behind that system, the sky should start to clear. So as we go through time, here comes the front on the European model, lingering showers hours later Sunday. Monday looks good and then that area of high pressure slides away. Here comes a return flow with the moisture behind it. Some showers later Tuesday and then by Wednesday another system moves through with the cold front promising more showers and storms. And look at the snow across the mountains possibly by early Thursday morning and behind that system very very chilly air will be building in and maybe a good looking Easter holiday weekend as we go through time trying to advance past this slide and it looks like it is not letting me right now so we'll go ahead and come over here and see what we can do it looks like we have locked up our system perhaps anyway let's go ahead and look to our next slide and it looks like we have locked up the system so anyway let's send it back to shale and i'll get that seven day forecast up and a little bit show. Yeah, that's what you get with live TV, Bob. You never know <laughs> when technicalities are going to happen. No worries. We'll punch up the seven day forecast for you in just a little bit. Meantime, we want to make it easy for you. Download our Fox Carolina News app. We send push alerts about any sort of storms right to your home screen. So it's right in the palm of your hand and you're going to want to take a picture of that QR code to make it easy to to download the app. You can keep the phone with you. If you have to move to a safe space and if you lose power, you'll still be able to keep up with us through Facebook lives as well as our newscast. Really important during a time like this.